All right, you guys, so check out how to fuse two models together here in Photoshop. And for the reference, I'm gonna go with these two images. I'm gonna start with this one and I'm gonna go to the taskbar, click on remove background, and I'm gonna go and select the polygonal lasso tool. And I'm gonna go and select the body starting from the neck. I will make it perfect. Go all around and press Alt plus backspace. And here we got the second image and I'm gonna repeat the same step with the second image as well. Let's select the crop and just stretch it out. And I'm gonna go to the first image and drag and drop it into the other tab with this one. Press Ctrl T, scale it down and rotate and just make it fit. Now let's go and select the first layer, right click, convert to smart object. I'm gonna repeat the same step with the second, rename it. And I'm gonna select the first layer with the model on the top here. And let's go to the filter, select liquify. And here I'm gonna need to mount these sunglasses together, but I'm gonna need to see the other model as well. So I'm gonna go here and click on show backdrop. And this way you can see exactly where the second model is positioned. And these are my settings, size, pressure, and density. And all you need to do is just stretch and melt these sunglasses into the other sunglasses. And I'm gonna do the same thing at the bottom part here. Now I'm gonna uncheck the show backdrop so now I can see exactly what I'm doing. All right, so let's see if this is accurate. Click OK. Now I'm gonna need to mask this layer to remove this unwanted area. And what I'm gonna do is go here to the smart filter, click on this mask. Select the brush tool, make sure that you're on the black. And I'm gonna go here and just remove the unwanted stuff. I'm gonna decrease the hardness and I'm gonna go all the way where the eye is. If you go beyond, you're gonna make the bottom sunglasses visible. And now you can remove the rest as well. And to fix this area, I also gonna mount the second image. I'm gonna select the second image, repeat the same step, filter, liquify, activate the show backdrop. And let's see what we can fix here. And there you go. And check this out. Click OK. Now I'm also gonna fuse the lips together real quick. Okay, so this would be pretty good. I'm also gonna go and add a solid background and I'm gonna drag it on the bottom and I'm gonna change up the color, double click and I'm gonna go with this color right here. All right, now I'm gonna go and select all the layers, a right click, convert to smart object and now I'm gonna go to the filter, filter gallery and let's go to the sketch, select reticulation. I'm gonna increase the density, foreground level and let's click on the plus and now I'm gonna go and select the half tone pattern. Increase the size and increase the contrast all the way up. I'm gonna go with these values, click OK. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. I'm gonna go here and drag this filter gallery into the bin and I'm gonna select the first layer and then you can change up the blend mode to soft light. I'm also gonna go to the adjustments, add curves and increase it. Press and hold Alt, click in between the curves and the layer. So this arrow pointing down is going to appear. Click on it. So pretty much this is how it's gonna look. And pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching.